Hello, I'm Max Balegde. And I'm George Clark, and welcome to the useless hotline. TikTok wasn't working out for us, so we decided to set up our own little business. We did, and the useless hotline is a place where we help you with your queries, no matter how weird, disgusting, or embarrassing they are. But it won't always just be us. Like today, for example, we're going to have nobody. It's just us. Um... But yeah, I met somebody yesterday. Oh, wait, sorry. Have we finished the intro? Oh, look at me. I met somebody. Let's get in. No, let's get into it. Whatever. We went to the Spider-Man premiere yeah, yesterday. We did. And I met somebody who said that they um, watch our podcast every single day. We release the episode and then they rewatch that episode every single day until mm. the next one comes out. And I looked her in the eyes and I said, you're mentally ill. No, I didn't. I, I said, filed a restraining order there <laughs> and then. No, she was so lovely. I was it like. Doesn't sound, it sounds weird. <laughs> I was like, that's so cool. I used to do that with um, Glee episodes. Yeah. Or- so I understand. <laughs> um, I genuinely did. An episode of Glee, of Glee would come out, and then I'd um, watch it every single day until the next one came out. Mm. Not something that I'm necessarily proud of, but I did just share it with the internet. So, yeah. How are you? Um, I'm George. Who are you? Oh, I'm Max. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brilliant. How oh, are you? I'm good. We went to see Spider Man. What's it called? Across uh, the Spider Verse. He invited over to his house. Bless him. Yeah, we did. Shouldn't I? Uh, Reveal his identity. No, we'll keep it a secret. Mm. Um, but I loved it so and Max much. Max whipped his web shooter out, and I said, I "Max, did. a bit presumptuous." Mm-hmm. I did. They did actually say in the movie that there's one Spider-Man who shot webs out of his penis, didn't they? No, he said that was a bad dream. Oh, <gasps> it was a wet dream. If you know, a webbed dream. It was quite good. I don't know if it was. All oh, right. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, loved the film. What a movie. I did not think it was going to end. it feels like I, I was in it and it's like a press junket now. <laughs> Absolutely loved, loved it. it so you did much. a great job, by How the way. How did it feel um, like acting out all those scenes, obviously just with your voice and because it's cartoon? Yeah. Um, well, you know, it's we've got a great team of people here. Yeah, oh, the, yeah. the cast are great. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daniel Kalia playing Spider-Punk, obviously fantastic. Unbelievable. Can't remember the names of all the other actors. Well, Daniel Radcliffe um, was there. Of playing course he was. Harry Spider. He, he turned, up to the, turned up to the wrong shoot, bless yeah, him. Yeah, bless him. So um, he it. You know, um, but since the loss of his parents, you can't really blame him. No. no. Um, Do you reckon we could get Daniel Radcliffe on the pod? Um, I think we should. I don't know. Daniel, if you watch, um, I would absolutely love that. I've been re-watching Harry Potter lately since it's come back on Netflix. No, I watched it um, like a, a month few months before. ago. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, oh, that's too soon to that do it again. That is too soon, but what a, what a series. Really what, enjoy what it. Movies. I, what I will say about it oh. is I feel like good set of films, mm-hmm. bad character development. Well, people who have read the book say that the characters are absolutely nothing like the they are in the book. For example, Neville of the Neville lengthy variety. bottom variety. Yes, he was like, yeah, he was a little nerdy boy. Yeah, and then got a bit more brave, and then obviously picked up the sword at the end. Mm. And then everyone's everyone always goes to that whenever you go. Oh, they don't have much character. Everyone goes, yeah, but look at Neville. It was like, okay, cool. He picked up a sword. But also, but they like, didn't Ron really show always, us that. Ron was always either. the the dumb, boisterous one. Hermione yeah. was always clever and did spells. Yeah. And then Harry was always the chosen one. And then nobody really changed. Draco did a bit at the end, but it wasn't big, was it? That's true. Like, I'd I'd argue that throughout every film, they developed. And then at the end, uh, at the beginning of the next film, they were kind of the same character. Yeah. For example, Draco would kind of do something a little bit likable towards the end of every film yeah or like you'd see a little bit of like oh he's a real yeah, person he's like, oh, with emotions end, he's gonna proper change but and he, then he didn't even he didn't even walk across at the end he was just sort of stood yeah. there i was expecting him to come across and go no dad yeah i'm with potter yeah do you know what i agree but i think because the plot is so incredible people don't even realize that and people don't even care. Yeah. You could argue the same with like Marvel movies. Good boy, Draco. No, Tony Stark completely changed. He was that's one of like he the was un- unbelievably mm. self-absorbed at the start to the point where he was told not to say, reveal a secret identity, but he wanted to because he I, wanted I, to I show everyone. Imagine about, what that would him. be like spending time with someone like that. Quite a bit actually. Um, but yeah, that's rude. Wow. Um, I'm trying to think of anybody else. Hulk. A little bit of character. Not really. 
Black Widow. I guess actually, no, you're yeah. right. Like, yeah, Marvel. They do. Their their characters do develop. Well, to be fair, they had like thirty seven thousand films to do it in. So that is true. That is very true. Um, but yeah, Spider Man, top tier. Go and watch it. Honestly, I understand the thought process of I like the other ones, but this is a cartoon. What's it all about? Watch the first one, and you will understand. It's genuinely like number one the art style the way it's all like shot and like so it's very cool. comic booky but also like really easy to watch yeah and it's like very satisfying it's like you're watching eye. an art piece whilst like, you're even the, even it. the colors that we use like in this one they're like the characters were illuminated this in different looks colors. like a branded like, episode do you know, do you know what i mean <laughs> I, do. <laughs> I promise we are not being paid by Spider-Man to say this. This genuinely... Yeah, Spider-Man didn't pay us. <laughs> we, we just really enjoyed the film, okay? Yeah. We're not being paid to say this. Just wanted to put that out there. But um, yeah, I couldn't agree more. So cool. And it was actually funny. Like, yeah, genuinely it was. Funny I laughed a, f- a good few times. And the what's mom- good about it is that they, because it's a cartoon, you can get stupid and I, and you won't sit there being like... Oh, uh, it's cringe. Just, that just makes it like really like. I get what you mean. For example, now. like the recent Ant Man, they tried to do that a few times, I and I was like, "See the recent Ant Man," but like wow. Thor: Love and Thunder, the Bow Bun God. Right. And okay. I was like, then, yeah. That's yeah. just ruined it for me. I get what you mean. Why is the Bow Bun in the same universe mm. as Thanos? Yeah. Also, the action scenes can be so much more intense because it's comics. Right. Like, literally, the shit that was happening, I was like, "Oh my God, what's even?" Oh. Ah! Like crazy. <laughs> oh, I loved it so much. I loved it. But yeah, that was not spawn. We just really enjoyed the film. So yeah, But it was spun. It, oh like, like a, a web. web. Indeed. So Sony, Marvel, Disney, hit us up, baby. Let us be in the next one. Anyway, moving on. Um I had something terrifying happen to me the other night, which I forgot to tell you about when I last saw you. What? So somebody has been prank calling me for nice. months. I respect it. And it's clearly like a young girl who's doing it with her friends. I have no idea who this is or how they've got my number. <laughs> they are seeing, saying very specific things about everything that I've posted like on the internet. So it's like, how does a blind girl know what's in a jar to even brand yeah. deals that I've done to you, to the podcast to everything about, about me. me just like are you with george clark stuff like that like and it's just it's very like gossip, is it? it's very obvious that somehow someone who is my follower has got my number no idea how yeah so this has been going on for months and i've now got to the point where i either get like my housemate to answer it every time it happens or i'm literally like i will call the police what the fuck is wrong with you so it happened again i'd say like two or three nights ago right so what i did was I muted my phone so that they couldn't hear me and I got Andrew to come and record it and they were saying really weirdly specific stories about a trip that I went on last summer and I was like what the hell is going on they were like talking about different people that were there well, it's, it's like someone's just rang up to give you a monologue on your life yeah but it was they're reading creepy. your autobiography oh, out to you. I was creeped out so I literally have this recording of Andrew recording it and I'm going I'm going to call the fucking police like this is a sociopath this is a stalker how do they know this much information about me the call goes on for five minutes and then after five minutes they break their voice start laughing and guess who it is you will never in a million years guess who this person was who prank called me I really want to guess now Anastasia Kings North. What? <laughs> Why? I know, George. I was so confused. I was like, "What?" So I was like, well, so she's "She been... literally breaks character what, and goes." Months? She literally breaks character and goes, <laughs> "Max, I'm so embarrassed. It's Anna." I was like, "That's Anastasia Kings North's voice." What the big fat fuck is going on? Have what? you been prank calling me for months? I was going to call the police. Turns out she hasn't been prank calling me for months. She just did it that one time and somebody else has actually, but what oh. they had, because she did like a, a girly, like kiddie voice, yeah. I thought that it was that same person. And I was genuinely, I have a video of me being like the fucking freak. Like, and it's just Anastasia on the other end going like, did you enjoy that trip to Ibiza? Cause she was on the trip. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. I literally sent a voice notes. I was like, you have no idea. I was ready to like do a full police investigation on you. I was like, it's finally gone too far. They somehow now know personal details say, about one that time, trip. Quite funny from her. Yeah. But if she consistently <laughs> did it over a series of months and didn't no, say a thing. No, it wasn't her. It wasn't her all the other times. It was just her that one time. But because I, it had happened to me so many times, I instantly got my back up. I didn't even entertain it. I muted myself from the beginning and was like, I'm going to find this freak. I literally was recording it to like send to the police to see if they ha- can like get any details. But yeah, such a weird, 
time in You're my life. You're the best person to prank it. What is? It's... <laughs> I would fall for it every time. I'm just not. Yeah. You're the most gullible person I think I've ever met. Well, yeah, but Jesus Christ, I couldn't believe it when she said it. Was <laughs> you her. even believed that? You're not. You're the second most. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. But yeah. So sorry. I just I realized that I forgot to tell you that story. Well, but what a weird, me. what a crazy story. I'm going to see Beyonce this weekend. How's that just immediately? Because kind of Anastasia awkward. Kings North is going as well, I oh. think. I believe that she is. I think we're going together. I'm not sure. But <laughs> what if not, you're just going on your own. <laughs> no, no, we're in um, a box, George, because I'm very fancy. It's the first time you've ever been in one of them. <laughs> Gay man. Yeah, I got it. Wow. But I'm so fucking excited. I ordered my outfit. I've got a, um, like a disco ball pink cowboy hat. Nice. That's um, quite funny after the last words I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're a um, gay man. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, get him a nice pink cowboy hat. <laughs> I am, yeah. Um, and hot pink t-shirt, because had to be done. Well, when um, you're in it, it's just a pink t-shirt. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <laughs> Well, oh wait, no, that was an insult, wasn't it? Oh, <laughs> I just said thank you. <laughs> oh, for God's sake! But yeah, and uh, we're going, <laughs> we're going to a festival this weekend. We are gonna get crazy. We're gonna get crushed have you up. Seen, have you seen who's performing? Um, King uh, Julian. No, King... Kelly Rowland. Oh, do you know who Kelly Rowland is? Yeah. Good, because Kelly Rowland's performing. She's the headliner. She was an X Factor judge once, wasn't she? Or not? Oh, you take. It's, oh my god, I hate how straight you are in this moment. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having a mental breakdown. So the only reference for Kelly Rowland that you have is that she was an X Factor judge no, she once. Did I'm gonna the, kill myself. Is I'm it? Sorry. She's so raise your glass if you. Are, or is that a different? Person? Oh my god, that's pink. Oh no, sorry, that was the hot oh pink my in my god. mind. I'm having a horrible time. What is the Kelly Rowland song that oh I know? Sing it to From me. Here I'll be your commander. That was quite good. Can we just, can we just I was thinking like... quite the opposite. Wow. Okay. She has so many bangers. Also, not to mention, she was in Destiny's Child with Beyonce. Right. Beyonce's childhood best friend. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. Oh, no. Okay. I know that. Yeah. Yes. You, you're, uh. Oh, God. How do I live this way? How do I do it? How do I do it? Anyway, Kelly Rowland's going to be there and you're going to fucking enjoy it. No, I probably will you, yeah. No, you are. There's no probably about it. I'm going to make sure of it. Okay. Right? Right. Right. Also, Natasha Bedingfield. Remind me. Oh, let me get a song up. Or is she the... No, she's not. She has... She's everything. (laughs) She's everything. (laughs) She is. She has... I can't remember which one it is, but she definitely has a... Unwritten. I am unwritten. Wait, staring at the blank space okay, before yeah. you. Why open did you up not the start dirty with that? window and the sun illuminates the world and you will never be here. Oh, Sorry, no, is a sin singing to me right now? Yeah. Fuck, you knew that. You knew that. Why were you like speaking like you were deaf? Because I. I don't want to give it all. I don't want to get copy. If it is so accurate, then we might get copyright stricken. I don't want to do that. Um, gonna be amazing. Also, hot weather. I haven't heard their stuff. Oh no, that's. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, gonna be so much fun though. Um. What else? What else? Oh my gosh! Right. So I <clears throat> have come to a bit of a conclusion about myself recently. Go oh, finally. I basically saw a video of myself after our live show. Yeah. Um. Someone, I, w- I went for a part of a I, w- I, w- <laughs> I went for a walk in the park with my boyfriend and my best friend. Nice. And um, one of Same them. Same thing. That's cute. Yeah. One of them took a picture of me for the be real, I believe. Mm. And I saw myself and I thought, that man looks like a horribly dressed crackhead. And then I realized that. I have let myself go quite intensely, to be honest with you. I have little to no worries about the way that I look in public anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, Agree. And the clothes that I wear are quite often a little bit ugly. 
Do I, I look at my top that I, I'm wearing right now? <laughs> I have noticed your outfit. You were, you're currently wearing lilac Crocs, off-white and green tracksuit bottoms, and then a bright blue t-shirt with colours that do not correlate to any other part of your outfit. Oh, it's true! <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I literally was walking around the park... In green um, jogger shorts, bright green jogger shorts, a yellow t-shirt, blue Crocs that had bright neon yellow signs on the back that said proper fitty that somebody bought me because of this. And I looked at myself, my hair was like sticking out everywhere. I mean, my hair does not look the best today either. And I was like, wow, when did this happen? Because I used to care about the way that I looked, but I don't know whether it's because I'm so happy in my life that I've stopped worrying about that, which I guess is a good thing. But um, it's not. again, when I see my reflection, I feel unhappy. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe something needs to be changed. So any fashion brands, I please, I beg with all my heart and soul, please dress no, me. You do get gifted stuff, but the problem is they're not dressing you. Yeah. You just get gifted it and go, yeah, I'll ah, just wear it. There's a t-shirt, there's some trousers, I'll put Honestly, them all together. that was literally my thought process today. I'm pretty sure that these joggers, yep, they have stains all over them. <laughs> this was on the um, washing rack and I quickly like ran an iron over it because it looked repulsive. And um, I'm not saying it looks much better now, um, but well, this is the right. outfit that I've worn. Yeah, okay. You missed my joke and I thought it was hilarious. What did you I say? I said, well, Alessi tried. Oh, okay, yes. I do love Aless clothes, by the way. Mm. Um, say Aless. But yeah, this outfit just does not go well together. Anyway. I was um, going to say anything. Well, you didn't have to, George, because I'm well aware. Um, but yeah, that's about an update on my so life. So you're planning on changing? I am entering my fashionable era. I'm going to go to Zara. <laughs> I need to sort it out. I don't know how I said this to my manager yesterday. I was like, I mean, I literally showed up to the Spider-Man pre- Spider-Man, pre- <laughs> Spider-Man premiere wearing Crocs, um, a jumper. To be fair, my outfit was all right last night. Quite nice. I mean, it was you don't a, have to comment it on a, it. It wasn't. You don't have to comment it on it. It wasn't colourful. No, it was all beige. It was all, at least it was one colour and it wasn't just a mix match of different explosions. This is something else you do. <laughs> you go, oh, I like this beige t shirt. Let me wear it with beige trousers and beige crocs. <laughs> and you go out looking like a Crayola crayon. <laughs> it's true. Oh, it's called monochromatic. I thought I was doing something. <laughs> Somebody help me. I've lost my way. I used to look cool and I don't. But anyway. <laughs> right, yeah. Anybody out there, I will accept help. I really will. Um, also, I remember this morning that, do you remember when I used to have all my hair cut? I'm getting my hair cut after this, actually, RIP. When I used to have all my hair cut, like, debacles. Um, they've mm. been all right as for, like, the last few months. Mm. But Kim Kardashian's hairstylist offered to cut my hair. Chris Appleton. I don't know if you just sleep with a haircut. <laughs> I don't think that they were gonna get <laughs> if you came, I don't think that they were gonna give me Kim Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I would love that. I would absolutely love that. Kim, if you're out there and you feel like scalping yourself, let me know. Um but yeah. Wow. Um yeah, I got this email and I didn't know who he was at the time. It was about this time last year. And Do you have I, any haircuts since then? Shut My up, hair no. grows really slowly. <laughs> and, um, and I was just like, oh no, I don't know who that is, even though I know who he is now, and I just didn't show up to it. And then I was like... knowing people works. I didn't know who he is, even though I know who he is now. <laughs> Shut up. <coughs> but yeah. God, if you scratch your neck. Yeah. Oh, when I scratch my neck, it shows up really. It's so Yeah. Red. There's something wrong with my neck. <laughs> when I, I literally like take my jumper off and it looks like I've been beaten up around my neck. It keeps doing it. Has it done it again? Yeah. I don't know why. It's really like harsh. I must like touch it quite abrasively. I don't know. Um, but anyway, um, shall we get on with our job? <laughs> yeah. Right, let's do it. Right. Oh, I can hear the phone ringing. Oh, can you? Yes, I can. Right, go, on, pick, go on, pick it up then. That was, that was very delicate of you. Very nice indeed. 
Hi, Max and George and anyone else who may be on. Uh, I'm sure you've realized by now that I am American. I am oh. so sorry. Uh, I don't have a dilemma today, but I do have a question, and it's on behalf of your entire American audience. So, on a scale of 1 to 13, how stupid do you think Americans are? One, I have quite next. a few English friends, and the fact that I am aware that there are more than about three countries within the continent of Europe seems to cause death among them. Uh, so, I'm really curious to know if you think we're all uneducated or you're unaware that the entire Western world has to take geography. Thanks. Have a great day. Okay. Thanks. Wow. I mean, I don't know about you. My neck, sorry, it's just really like, <laughs> it's really swelling up now. I don't know what I've done to it. Anyway, I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I used to think like, oh my gosh, I want to live in America. Like, I used to think America was like the coolest place. Yeah. I actually tried to go to university in New York. I tried to like get like, um, I think I would have got accepted, but you had to pay like shit like 60 grand a year or something they're gonna um, pay for me to go to new york right? <laughs> like, what? i know i just thought i'd like, get it for free like what's going on um but yeah then as i've got older i'm like america is actually fucked yeah. and no offense to like american people that listen no offense to america no but you're fucked <laughs> no but like the people that listen to this podcast probably aren't on the same wavelength of the people that i'm referring to but like mm. when everything happened with like trump and everything yeah. that was just a wild time oh, awful behavior wild time and oh my god i so i learned shut up so as we know i love disney what's that word that you just said i said meant to say shut up i wanted to go to obviously i love disney we know this yeah and i was <clears throat> planning to go to disneyland florida mm. this summer nice which is like the best disney in the entire world well, so you can do 75 other theme parks while you're there exactly like so i was like oh my gosh that's like my dream I, I've, I've not been in like over 10 years that like, mm. i really want to go back and i was going to take andrew he's like never been and everyone would dress like you exactly i would really fit in but then i learned that literally like two weeks ago they made legislation in florida that if the so whatever pres, uh, profession that you're in it could be like in the medical field so you could be an ambulance driver a par paramedic if you get to the person and their lifestyle doesn't agree with your religious beliefs, you can decline to work with them. What? In in the state of Florida. They did that like two weeks ago. And I was like, that is fucking mental. So I could go to Florida, get bitten by a snake, call an ambulance, and they could show up, see my Crocs, and be like, no, <laughs> you're going to die. And it's legal. How fucked is that? So like th th this is where I'm coming from when I say like America is is kind of crazy. Like yeah. that is mental behavior. That is, obviously, that is really odd, isn't it? Like I I couldn't believe it because my sister literally rang me because I told her that I wanted to go to Florida that summer, and she was like, "You need to like research into Florida right now." Obviously, they're keeping it like quiet because whenever they do something like that, they keep it like a bit quiet whenever they change legislation. But I saw it like all over TikTok and everything, yeah. and I think that Disney are quite unique because they're such a big part of florida i think that they might have their own laws within disney which is crazy to think <laughs> but like they basically tried to distance themselves from florida as a whole yeah so maybe i'd be safe if i like stayed in like the disney kingdom <laughs> but it's just fucked so what you're saying is you're moving to disney absolutely yes um but what a wild time so like that's what i think of now unfortunately nowadays whenever i meet an american person i just say i just think God, that's folks. But, but what about them being quote unquote stupid? I so think, I mean. I saw an unbelievable um, video on Twitter the other day. What? That was, it was, the caption was literally just like Miss North Carolina answering a question. Mm. And the question was like, oh, what were you, I, I, I'm going to quickly fucking find it. <laughs> just listen to this. Yeah. Is it real? Yeah. Right, okay, I'm ready. This is a, a genuine answer to. A question that um, Miss South Carolina got asked. Of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have that. And uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and 
I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Um, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries. So we will be able to build up our future for our children. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've seen that before. <laughs> what the, was that even mean? And the South Africa and such as. Um, <laughs> that like, is just The wild. question was, so like, what did you say about the education system? Bear, bear in mind that a lot of people in the USA don't know where the USA is on a map. And she somehow brought Iraq into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless her. Yeah. I mean, I think... <laughs> I mean, states like South Carolina and stuff, forgive me if I'm wrong, are... Stupid. <laughs> well, are, are the more, like, um, guns, like, let's all shoot guns and, like, whatever. I think that... <laughs> wasn't the best impression. Sorry. <laughs> that is such a funny thing to do after going, I think people in South Carolina are... Forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, guns! <laughs> like, right, I tried. Um, but, I mean... I think I'm going to make a bit of a sweeping statement here. I think that stupidity comes from a place of ignorance and um, oh, what's another word? Oh, Sorry, that, this you know, is so you know, ironic. You know, you know what ignorance means, right? Yeah, like you don't, you don't know about something. Yeah. Which is basically stupidity. <laughs> stupidity comes from a place of not knowing about something. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go on to not know the next word. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. You just said you just done synonyms in a <laughs> oh. See, being small comes from a place of being quite little. Um oh. and also being very mini. Oh no. Mini mouse. Anyway. I think <laughs> that it comes from a place of arrogance. That was what I was aiming for. <laughs> arrogance. Because if you think about it, when we went to Tokyo, I would argue that the people were 10 times nicer than like British or definitely American people and Whoa. more respectful. <laughs> and I do think that that comes from a place of they're not arrogant about their lifestyle. They're very much respectful of mm. themselves and each other. Whereas if you look at like british people for example when we was in our hotel um it cost like 50 pounds a night it was like the one of them box hotels there was a free bar at the top if that was in a british hotel it would be ransacked like within the hour there would be nothing left people would be stealing bottles yeah. likewise in america um and yeah that's just how i see it where does the this oh my god i'm i'm realizing that i am the south carolina <laughs> representative where did this, where did this oh. well how's that relevant to being stupid because they're all fucking idiots <laughs> and um do you mean that the arrogance i'm trying to help my client here yes the, the arrogance of the people mm -hmm. is uh they want to come across as this clever being so they're afraid to see that they're wrong so for example when people like go on the streets and do these stupid questions mm. and they say like uh like have you seen it before where they like for example when there's like a, a football transfer window on you wouldn't have seen this example I know exactly what but means, yeah. they'll make up a player name and they'll put the mic in their face like, oh, what do you think about your club signing then make up a player name and they'll go yeah yeah i think he's really good yeah right. like because people would love to yeah. look like they know what's yeah. going on whereas yeah no they, i i literally mean that yeah that's what <laughs> like you mean. basically i think that they also i mean a lot of these like states where people i mean do you remember when they were trying to ban tiktok mm. and there was the um like congress hearing oh, for it that, yeah and the ceo of tiktok had to be there and he would literally say like they would be like can you identify my house through my eyesight and they were like, the guy was like, um, do you mean like, do we track like facial recognition so that you can use a filter? Yes. And they were like, can you get my IP address from that? And it's like, you're all dumb as fuck. Yeah. Like, actually so dumb. And they're the same sorts of people that will be preaching like about religion and like how, oh my God, there's so much that we can talk about right now. I can't even <laughs> call. Like everything, I think <clears throat> stupidity equates itself with the idea of like american people that are like we fight for liberty liberty we stand up for liberty. the flag yeah exactly mm. where is liberty at um liberty may i don't know um and they like salute to the flag and everything and they have so much 
like emotion and commitment to this mm. whole constitution and everything like that. I should say that this obviously isn't all Americans. There's no, a, no, no. A, it's, a, it's a select. But that's few the stereotype. Who give you a bad rep? But it's but the thing is though, <coughs> unlike unlike other um, I'd say like stereotypes from other con- countries. The frightening thing about America is that that's a like a majority. That's like pretty much a majority. Like when you the think about the thing is that all the stereotypes are true. <laughs> no, like they're all when... stupid. No one has any idea what's going on. <laughs> and you were like the guys. <laughs> pretty much, like it is. I just find it all crazy. Like when I went to Texas, I've never yeah. gone somewhere and genuinely thought, oh, I could actually just be murdered. And that was in Austin, Texas, which is like the safe part of Texas. We walked down the street and we still got homophobically attacked, not physically, but like verbally. And I was like, oh my gosh. We also went to clubs where you had to go through metal detectors. And I was like, oh, that's to stop people from shooting up the club. And then we would be in a club where there wasn't a metal detector. And I'd be like, oh, someone could literally just kill us all at any minute. And it's like, that's fucked, that that's a real place and that that actually yeah. happens. And I think that is stupid. Mm. Like, See, this is why the UK is good because I, I like to think that if countries were people and mm-hmm. we were all in a room, everyone would think the UK is the boring one because we've got no natural disasters, no earthquakes or anything that happens. None of our animals are going to kill us. Mm. Like, all of the, like, it doesn't get too hot, it doesn't get too cold. Yeah. Like, our, our laws, like, no guns or anything around. Yes, there's obviously there's knife crime, but, like, yeah. there's, it's just oh, such a boring place, but obviously, really. It just works. I guess so, yeah. I mean, the, the UK is fucked as well. Let's not even get into... I can't even talk about UK politics. I, I could be here for hours. But yeah, I just think that there's a stereotype based on what this girl said to us um, that Americans are dumb. And I think that it comes from those select people. I don't think that all Americans are stupid. I've met some lovely people from America, specifically in like New York, LA, those sorts of places. But I do think that because that since trump got elected that what was a minority now seems like a majority especially from our point of view like that's all that we really hear about america so i do think that that's where the stereotype comes from but yeah look at us talking politics hashtag politics i've got an email (laughs) (laughs) crazy times oh i hate i hate people anyway I really do. I just hate so many people. That was unnecessary. Right. God, what have you been writing there, George? Uh, I actually just typed in, I am a big old lesbian. <laughs> right, okay. <coughs> uh, That's not even like day. a joke. I don't know why I typed that. <laughs> <Carry on>. Right. <coughs> Hi, Max and George. Oh. oh, I've already read this and I'm pissed off. Anyway, I was at the live show and just want to say that George is even more unreal in real life and Max is a proper fitty. Okay, I'll accept that last bit then. I'll accept it. I did put my hand up to ask for some advice, but it was ignored. So this is my next resort. Sorry, love. Um, My issue, I have many, but this is one that I need more advice on, please and thanks, is that I'm still sleeping with my ex-boyfriend. Yawn. Yawn. Who isn't, love? Come on. Um, But I am still talking to other people and meeting them. Yes, I'm sleeping with other people. Okay. He said he's fine with it, but I really don't think he is. I'm going traveling at the end of the year, so don't want to get back into a relationship unless it's with George. Shut the fuck up. Um, But I like having him around. What shall I do? P.S. I want to marry George. Anyway, um, I think that that is boring. And I'm so sorry if anybody else writes into this podcast saying, I really don't know what to do. I just like... I've started speaking to my ex-boyfriend again. I will personally ram your ex-boyfriend up George's ass, I and that stop will be it ram your ex-boyfriend. <laughs> that will be do horrible it. for everyone involved. <clears throat> I guess this one has a twist because it's it's talking about traveling and stuff, and we can maybe you know delve into that. So fair enough to this person, fair mm. enough. But I get voice. I go through the voice notes. Okay, George goes through the written ones. You can probably tell by the fact that all the written ones start with George Clark is so fit. Anyway. Um, I got through the audios. And How many it, weeks in a row are you going to 
unlimited. The, the limit does not that, exist. That is the o- that, that 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 also oh, complimented like, you. No, it didn't. But that, yes, it did. I need one that only compliments me. You and, have and for the past like four you. weeks. I need ones that personally victimize you. They and do. They have me. been. No nope, more. You're, you're I need so, more. You're so. We deluded. ride at dawn. <laughs> you're so deluded. You've not been listening to the whole. Oh, back to the proper fee and the other one. And all of them, all of them. Even the last one that was on the voice notes was that. Fine. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. <laughs> I think that it's a tricky one. So, actually, it's not tricky at all. I just told a lie. You want to go traveling and see the world. I'm guessing, <clears throat> with the fact that you have got back with your ex-boyfriend, that you may be from a small town because... If you're in London, what? I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe you live in a small town and you don't have many options. What? What's I'm, I'm just... What, what an assumption that I'm is. making an assumption. Um, and so you have not experienced life yet, my darling. You're about to go and see the literal world where you will meet more people, more interesting people than your boyfriend could ever, ever admire or, I'm, well, that's I'm, her boyfriend you're speaking about. Yeah, well, he can go and fuck himself. Uh, well, she's doing it. As soon as she finishes, he can go and fuck himself. Okay. I think that you need to grow up what and realize... What the fuck is this advice? I'm angry. Grow up and realize that there's more to life than your dirty little ex-boyfriend. I it's guarantee... her current boyfriend. She's got back with her ex-boyfriend, is she not? Is that not what was said? Well, I've ripped it up. No, no, no. She's sleeping with her ex-boyfriend. Oh. She's not got back with him. But she said she's starting to get feelings again. Yeah. But she's also Just sleeping with other people. Just go traveling and see how you feel go when, traveling when you're not and with him. And then, you know, it's just... Yeah. Yeah. Literally, go bloody traveling, love. And um, shag about there. Don't keep shagging about in Darwin or wherever you live. All right? It's not worth it. Trust me. I've done it. I genuinely think I slept with every gay man in Darwin. Hand on heart. Hand on cock. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and it didn't make me feel better about myself. I then went to see the world, and now I'm in love. So, <laughs> who's the real winner here? Me. Um, yeah, any advice? Um, <clears throat> don't force yourself to come to a decision immediately. No, do like, it if you, if you don't, If you don't know what... You what you're gonna how you're gonna feel? Wait until you do know how you're gonna feel. Just be just be open and honest with them and say, look, I don't know what's gonna happen when I'm traveling. Look, we're we're clearly just getting back together, but I'm gonna go traveling, see how I feel about you there, and you can see how you feel about me while I'm going traveling. And if we're both in the same boat when we get back, we want to see each other again. Sweet, we'll do that. If not, we won't. Nah, fuck that. Don't even tell him that you're going traveling. Book that flight to Zimbabwe and piss him right off. I'm going to go out on a whim and say, I don't think she's traveling around Zimbabwe. You never know. You never know. I've heard people do it and they loved it. Right. That's my advice. Um, I can hear the phone ringing. That's mental. I, I can know. also hear that dash bell. There we go. Now then, guys, so oh. I've got a bit of a dilemma, really. It's not really a dilemma, it's more of just a general thought, right? So, me and my girlfriend, we've been dating for about two, three months now, um, and we've already moved in together. Now, a lot of my mates are saying this is too soon, but we're really happy, we're really enjoying it. Just want to know what your guys' opinion on it would be. Cheers, geezers, have a good day. George, you're a Donny. Max, you're pretty cool. In a bazoo! <coughs> right, that's... Big up the straight man, then. <laughs> I'm a Donny. Oh, I can't do that. How'd you do that? Like that. Oh, I can't Sorry. Do it. Right, watch what I can do, though. Watch what I can... Oh, okay. Watch what I can do. I can dislocate this finger and waggle it around, but... What? That's just not what's happened. It's waggling. No, but it's not dislocated. It is. It's not, because I know you. What do you mean you know and me? And if you had any form of pain, you'd be on the floor. No, right it now doesn't hurt. Andrew. It doesn't hurt. You will not. Dis- you haven't dislocated your finger. I have. Look at it wobbling. You haven't dislocated. I've got wonky fingers. Yeah, that's disgusting, but it's not dislocated. I don't think it's disgusting. Do you know? I had to go to hospital for months Was it for every the face week. Thing. Watch yourself. 
every week for months to have different hand specialists work out what was wrong with my fingers. And they had university students come and sit in the did sessions. They, did they come to the conclusion that you just bent? <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be the reason why. Every time I walk out the door, I'm going to cry. Um, that's just not okay. Anyway, um, they said that if they couldn't work out what it was, then I could name the syndrome. But they worked out what it was. And I'm sad. Woo! Yeah. Right. Maybe not. What was the advice um, that they wanted? Uh, they've moved in <laughs> after three months. They're happy, but um, I'm a Donny and you're all right. <laughs> right, okay. Um, wow, well, moved in after three months. I <clears> mean, <throat> that is very lesbian. What? <laughs> That's a very lesbian thing to do. <laughs> what? It is. What are you talking about? That's what, like, all my lesbian friends, when they meet somebody... They, like, move in with them within, like, three months. Oh, okay. Our advice is you're not in a straight relationship. You're actually a lesbian. Have you considered the fact that you could be a lesbian? I know that he was a straight man. <laughs> what but... are you talking about? Hmm. That's not a lesbian thing to it do. It is. Ask lesbians. Lesbians. Oh, a lesbian thing to do is another woman. Well, of course. But they what they do with that other woman is move into the same household lesbians comment down below you know that that's right and you will also oh my gosh lesbians are wild they're first of all the nicest people in the world oh, i've seen the videos oh god they're the nicest people in the world because think about it they don't have um they're not going to be like horrible to women like most straight men are not including you in this actually you're yeah i'm a donny halfway decent um and they're not going to be <clears throat> awful and disgusting like most gay men are they're just two lovely women that like find love and like have beautiful children intelligent children mostly i love lesbians i wish i could be but i can't because i'm a, i'm a gay man um but yeah love lesbians big up lesbians out there honestly well, um, how the fuck is this become a conversation about it's, lesbians? So it's a very lesbian thing to do is to move in with someone after <clears throat> two or three months is that not a very just couple thing to do no to move in with each other no uh -uh. Mm -mm. How would you would you if you were dating someone for two or three months would you move in with them? No, absolutely not. Would I? Absolutely not. Would lesbians? That's ask, not ask the lesbians. That's, that's not We've, we we asked a panel of one hundred lesbians what they would do if they were dating someone for two to three months, and every single one of them said move in together. They will also have such long distance relationships and like make it work. They're just These great are people. such sweeping statements. But I just think that, I mean, maybe it is. I'm sure it is. I'm sure that there's some oh, yeah, horrible lesbians out there. Obviously they are. I'm sure there's some it's awful not one of the criteria there. of being a lesbian is, number one, to like a woman, <laughs> and number two, to want to move in in the next three months and also have a long-term, long-distance relationship. You would be surprised. But I just, I just pick up lesbians. I think that lesbians should rule the world. And um, are you trying to like fight some allegations that you don't like lesbians? Or I love lesbians. Well, My sister's lesbian. I spoke about this with her the other week. I think that's why I'm, I'm talking about it. I love lesbians. <laughs> this is really weird. <laughs> this is not I had something I had on my 2023 <laughs> bingo card. Think about it. Right, we don't Max have to confess his love for lesbians. But lesbians, comment down below and let me know. Let you know what? If I'm Let right. Let you know what? If I'm right. About about how like they're in um like great relationships and that they live together after two or three months. I know that that is true. <laughs> I think it's a stereotype. It's Obviously, just, it's a we've stereotype. just heard a straight couple do it. It's not a lesbian thing to do, is it? I think that he might be a lesbian. I think he might be. Anyway, moving on. But let's um, be honest. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> true. Anyway, um interesting <laughs> what moving in together i don't think i could do that not after three months you don't know anybody that well i mean me and andrew moved well, in how, together how much have you if you've been on love island <laughs> oh yeah then you've, and you've just spent the last three months living with each other basically in the first place then i mean even then you're but not... what's the success rate of love island couples that come out and live with each other right away pretty much zero so i don't um, think uh tommy oh yeah i guess so but even then, is that a happy relationship? Uh, I don't yeah. know. On Instagram, yeah. Have but what about seen, personal life? What's her name? Bambi? Is her name Bambi? Yeah. 
Yeah, that yeah. looks pretty happy. I'm sure it's a happy baby, yeah. yeah. But is the relationship happy? I don't know. I'm not in it. I'm not in it, personally. And they're not so. a lesbian couple. They're not, so it's probably quite bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, um, I met Molly May All right. once, and she was lovely. She okay. was very nice. All right. Never met Tommy. All right. Don't know if he well, seems nice. Okay, well, what's the relevance here? I want to fight Liam Payne. What? In a boxing match. Liam, if you're watching... Liam's I would watching. do. Okay. Liam, if your friend's watching, tell Liam, I want to fight Liam Payne in an influencer boxing match. Got easy lines that you can spit out in the press conference like I'm going to inflict pain on you. Well, he'd be doing I'm going to show you the true the meaning of pain. If you know what I mean. Have you seen the videos of him where he looks absolutely off his tits, bless him. <laughs> like, actually, like, he's doing an interview and he's like... <laughs> And I'm like, oh, God, he's having a good There's, time. There was that one where he went into different accents. Yes, throughout. at the Oscars. Uh, um, Will Smith, he was like, and Jada, you know, you know, she was she was over there. And she was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Anyway, back to the task at hand. Oh, yeah. Three months. I mean, um, I mean, if you if you feel like it's correct, yeah, do it. We like, can't decide. Yeah. Like some people, they literally, it is a fairy tale. They meet the first day, they're like, I just will marry you. It's just yeah. a matter of time. And then um, other people, it, it takes time. But evidently, yeah. you might be in the former. And there's no wrong or right. No. There's no scripture to life. There's not. That's the Bible. Isn't it mad that, like, I mean, I studied sociology. I don't know. If I, also, everybody loved my... I don't know if you read the comments. Everyone, when you told me to stop talking about sociology, everyone was like, I wish that Max carried on about sociology. That was so interesting. You realise what the comments are, don't you? Yeah. They love they're, me. They're, they're, they're it's, nice it's, people. it's Max Belegdi fans who see you get a little bit upset and go, "Oh no, but we we love you, Max. We'll we'll happily listen to you." You could sit here and talk about watching a. Guys, a I'm upset. He's upset me again. Can you all comment about it, please? You could sit here and come and say that we could speak for an hour about how you watched paint dry the other day, yeah. and they'd go. And if I went, oh, Max, can you shut up about the lilac paint, please? They go, no, we want to hear Max talk about the lilac oh my paint. God. Guys, he's so mean to me. Please, can you comment about it? Right, I'm okay. I'm okay. The um, drama queen in the world, honestly. I'm okay now. I'm okay. Um, the Bible. Wild. What are you talking about? The Bible about? is wild. Okay. I'm not trying to discredit anybody's religion. This is not a good way to start a conversation. Okay. I'm not trying to... Because the way that I see religion is if... <laughs> <laughs> this is classic TikTok clip of two white guys on a podcast <laughs> just talking utter shit. No, but the way that I see religion is if there is a movement or a scripture that makes millions of people all around the world change their behavior and way of life for the better, then that's as real as anything. That, for me, is as real as some geezer who could turn wine into water. Other way around. Sorry, Jesus, if you're watching. Um, so I think that that is fine. Yeah, never got invited back to that house party. <laughs> so was JP. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, that, for me, is as real as anything. <clears throat> Whereas when they use the th like one line out of said book to completely attack and discriminate against one huge group of people and say, you're wrong, your life is wrong, you're disgusting, you're going to burn. I think, would your Jesus want you to do that? He was going around throwing parties with prostitutes, going, do you want some wine, love? Let's have it. Was he doing that? Yeah, he was hanging out with prostitutes. Jesus, it's in the Bible. My pupils. Have you seen that, Gemma Collins, in the Big Brother house? You have gone on so many tangents, it's unbelievable. But Jesus Christ... That's what I'm thinking right now. If you're watching, love, sort it out. Because some of your followers, they're going a bit crazy. I'm just putting it out there. Where is this it's come from? Some that are very nice. Some that are very, very nasty. And I think we need to talk about it. Maybe not here. Maybe not right now. <coughs> but all my sociology warriors out there, Jesus we will get to it at one point. Don't you worry. Um, how long have we got left? Ten minutes left. Right. Um, I think we gave great advice to that person. I've got an email. Love you. I do indeed. I'm not going to leave it. Right. Can I read it? Yeah, you can indeed. Now that you've got your snotty fingers all over it. No, I didn't. I mean, you did. I didn't. Hi, Max and Hi. George. Hi. As Max Belegdi would say, I'm upset. 
Oh. I went home to visit my parents this weekend as I'm away for uni, and my mum picked me up from the train station. Mm. She said that I could go on her Spotify and pick music to listen to, and when I did so, I found something mortifying and mm. I recently played. It was a sex podcast called Sex... Stories... <laughs> it's called Sex. <laughs> it was a sex podcast called Sex Stories Heighten Your Pleasure. This is something you don't want to see on your parents' Spotify. Mm. I pretended I didn't see anything and quickly tapped on another playlist and locked the phone. When I got back to uni, I told my flatmate who decided to find the playlist and play it out loud, and I actually don't think I can look at my mum in the same way again. What the hell do I do? P.S. My flatmate and I went to the live show and we had the best time. You smashed it. Oh, I have a very similar story. Thank you, firstly. Rude, yeah, thank it? you so much. Love you so much. Rude? Thank you for coming. Jesus. I'm glad that you enjoyed the show. I did a campaign with Spotify. And nice. as you know, Spotify do like a Spotify wrapped yeah. at the end of the year. So it was all to do with that. And That's the I, slogan, wrap up with Spotify. And they got my top five... Ex-Jurex. My top five most listened to podcasts. And it's like, guess what they were? And I only really listened to like three podcasts, like properly. So the bottom two were like ones that I'd like listened to once and I, then like never thought about I, again. I don't listen to podcasts full stop. Wow. Is that weird of me? I mean, we have a podcast, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't go on record saying that. But if you want to, um, then right. that's totally fine. So it doesn't just but you listen to our podcast, of course, the Useless Hotline. You, are you Nod promoing your our podcast on our podcast? Yes, that's not where you promo <laughs> a podcast. I, you don't listen to any podcasts? No, that is crazy. I love podcasts. I listen to three religiously. Right, so yeah, but this one... <laughs> Religious podcast. No, <laughs> that's why I knew all that knowledge just then. I knew that knowledge. Yeah, that's right. Nice. <laughs> that's right. Um, and so there was this one gay porn podcast, and I listened Assuming to that it. that one wasn't religious. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> and I listened to it because they got a housewife on it from the Real Housewives franchise, <clears throat> which I love. So mm-hmm. I listened to just that one episode with her on it. And then I did this thing with Spotify where in front of Sam Ryder, the beautiful soul innocent man lovely man mm. i had to like guess what my top podcasts were and in that moment i was like oh my fucking god because i saw my spotify raps like the day before and um it had that gay porn podcast on it and i was like they're gonna think they would have seen it they would have so th- i at that moment i looked at everyone at the spotify team and i was like you all think that i listen to a gay porn podcast and do. it's believable i listened to one episode <clears throat> one more episode than i've watched I listened to <laughs> two but yeah, so I was quite horrified then. So I can't imagine how I would feel if I knew that my mum was waggling a worm to a sex podcast. Yeah, um, but it's look, parents be active, man. Working, they do. Parents how do, how do you think you were active. made by sex stuff or in virtual fertilization? Could be that, yeah, could be that. Um, but they probably still have had sex at some point. I'm just guessing, unless they don't love each other. I don't know. Um, wow, could you have sex with somebody that you didn't love? I guess everybody does before, like, you you would have sex with your... I've had sex with so many people and I didn't even know their name. No, but even before, even if... (laughs) (laughs) Does that look bad? I I, I feel like even... (laughs) (laughs) I guess that's different than being in... Yeah, okay. Even before you, like, when you, like, it before you love someone you're not gonna just not go near them yeah true me and andrew had sex on our first date and our first date was drinking vodka under a bridge is that where you'd had sex no 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 we had it inside a house don't know whose house it was um, <laughs> it was just very viewing. nearby <laughs> it was just a porch actually um no it wasn't that was a joke but yeah um wild what was the question sex podcast let your mum, your mum's shagging about. Your mum is shagging I hate to say it. She's not necessarily shagging about. She is, I've met her. She she's, listens to a podcast. She's shagging about. She is definitely shagging about. What's that, what's any difference to listening to a podcast and as, what the fuck, what is the difference between watching a podcast, listening to a podcast like that and reading Fifty Shades of Grey? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So. And it, People were happily, happily, happily. People were happily flaunting that when they were reading it. Just look at me, I'm reading sex. And it, do you remember when that came out in? Um, <coughs> oh, sorry, everyone. That came out in cinemas, and they found cucumbers on the seats when they would clean up the theatre afterwards. Oh, loads that's... of cucumbers, like loads. That was like the number one thing that they'd find in the package. Still, viewings. That's what it is. I don't think they were eating them unless 
that's got teeth. Oh, God. Oh, God. Anyway, I think that that's a good place to wrap up the episode. How about <laughs> wrap you? up? Yeah. Is the, is the thing to take um, away from yeah. this? Sorry, everybody. It has to be a shortly... <clears throat> sp- oh. <laughs> Partly shorter episode this week um, because I have to do something. But we will be back all the other weeks. <laughs> so we'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> that was so unnecessary. You didn't even need to say that. Yeah. Uh, oh, if you enjoyed <laughs> and you are watching, give us a like, subscribe, ring a notification notification bell so you know when we next post. Oh if my you're God. listening, give us a what? I just did this and I literally can feel my tits j- like <laughs> jiggling so much. Oh, I hate myself. If you're Do listening, give us a five star rating, download us so you can watch slash listen to us on the go. And if you are watching did you already say yeah, that yeah i s- used and to do the if you would like to send in a dilemma go. then please do so via our email or written one to the useless hotline podcast at gmail.com or send it in to our instagram at the useless hotline pod but until next time your mom's shagging about and i've seen her with my own eyes and you have done more than just see her wrap up Absolutely. Bye.